Hi, I'm Jason and welcome to this section of the Pre-Algebra Tutor. And in this section we're going to tackle the very, very important topic of adding fractions together. Now we've kind of danced around the subject a few times already because I kept telling you that some of the things that we were doing in the previous sections were going to be directly applicable to adding uh, fractions, subtracting fractions, and on and on and on, and now we finally get to this point. Basically, in a nutshell, what you need to know, the most important thing to take away from this section is that in order to add fractions together or subtract them from one another like we'll do in the subsequent section, the denominators of those two fractions, or however many fractions you have, must be the same. They have to be the same. So if you try to add one-fourth plus five-eighths, you cannot do that unless those denominators are the, are the same. And if they are not the same, then it's up to you, as the person working the problem, to make them the same. And that's why we covered finding the common denominator so much, because basically every time you try to add or subtract fractions, the first thing you're going to do is check to see if those denominators are the same. If they're already the same, then you can just keep on going with adding the fractions. But if they're not the same, most of the time they won't then you'll have to find a common denominator. And now that we've already done an entire section on finding a common denominator, it shouldn't be that big of a deal to go on and do it. So let's just dive right into the problems. I think what you'll find is it's really not that difficult to add fractions, but the basic process is check for that common denominator. If they're not the same, force them to be the same through our methods. Then you add the fractions, then you try to simplify the result. And we've done all of these little steps in different parts, and now we're going to put them all together and learn how to add fractions. So. For our first problem, let's pick an easy one. Let's say 1 fifth uh, plus 2 fifths. Now remember, what is a fraction? I mean, you should really kind of have a mental image. You have a pizza. You cut it into five pieces. This guy has one of those five pieces. Another person cuts another pizza up, takes out of five pieces. He has only two of them. So this guy has one out of five pieces. This guy has two out of five pieces. We add them all up. How many pieces do you think we should have? Well, if this guy has one out of five pieces, and this guy has two out of five pieces, then the answer is three out of five pieces. That's what we do when we add these two fractions together. And it makes sense when you say it out loud because the denominator is the same in both cases. So when you say it in the form of a sentence, it kind of makes sense. If this guy has one-fourth of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, and this guy has two-fourths of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, then, and you add them together, then you have three-fourths of a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. It only makes sense, though, if that denominator is the same. If they're not the same, you can't really do it right away. So first step check to see if this is equal. It is. So when you're adding fractions, the denominator of the new fraction you get is always going to be the same as what you started with. 5, 5, so this one's going to be 5. In the numerator, all you do is add together the numerators. 1 plus 2 is 3. And then finally, we check to see if this is simplified. And this is already simplified. I can't really divide top and bottom by anything to make this fraction simpler. Now what if we had uh, 4 fifths plus three-fifths. Uh, so again, we check to see, are the denominators the same? And they are. So the denominator of our new fraction will be five. It'll stay the same. You don't add them or anything. You just keep the new denominator. And then you add this together. Four plus three is seven. So the answer is seven-fifths. And you can, uh, you, know, you can leave it like that, but you realize this is an improper fraction, so you should try to change it to a mixed fraction. How many times will five go into seven? We'll go one time. Uh, and so that's 1 times 5 is 5. The difference between 7 and 5 is 2, so your remainder is 2, and you always write it out of 5. 